All right, folks, welcome. It's another Friday in the life of the world. And on the Hangout, downtown Lagos, Nigeria, it's welcome, okay? On the program today, President Buhari meets with National Assembly leadership, promises to appoint only people he knows as ministers. Former President Jonathan urges federal government to implement 2014 CONFAB report. And later on this one, Transparency International rates Nigeria police lawmakers most corrupt in the country, just as the National Assembly kicks. It says the report is not scientific. I'm hanging out with Janet Mba Afolabi. Janet, I greet you. Good evening. I, I feel like saying idem fo. Idem me song, afonko. Idem me songko. Tunde is uh, a guest. Tunde, that's a uh, ibibio greeting. Language. How do you do? It's okay. Yeah. She's Tunde, fine. Tunde, it's obvious that she's very fine. Oh, yeah, she is. Uh, Tunde is returning after many moons. <laughs> Janet, he was under the weather, but he looks better now. Yes. Thank God for your life. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, we expect uh, Bola Olajuwon to join us in the course of the evening, but the team is ready. I hope you are. All right, then, let's hit the road. You know, like expectant mothers, Nigerians hanker after a new cabinet to run the business of government with Mr. President. A month and one half after inauguration, the president appears to be taking his time about a list to be sent to the National Assembly for approval. We can tell you, though, that the number one citizen met with the leadership of the National Assembly last night over an impending cabinet ministers. The dinner session was aimed at winning the conference, confidence of the federal lawmakers as he unveils his next set of cabinet folks. But there seems to be a tinge of butterflies in the stomach as the president promises to appoint his team based on his personal knowledge of each of them, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> personal knowledge can be defined in two ways. Okay. First, people he knows one-on-one. -on -one. And second, people he may not have met one-on-one, -on -one, but he may have read about them, he has seen their work, and he can see these people would perform. That's the way I interpret okay. the knowing them. He that, gave, that, that's the poetic license you have. As a journalist. Oh, yeah, you're exercising it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, and he's saying that although he's under tremendous pressure to appoint ministers, but he wants people who, I want to underline the word that he used, people who are tested and are competent. Yeah. And those are the key things. It is not enough for you to just appoint for the sake of appointing, for the sake of satisfying party needs, but those who are going to perform. Because in this second half, <laughs> which is the final, oh, yeah. performance is key. Mm. Whatever happens this second turn will go down in history forever, and there is no other chance to remedy it. So he wants people who can take the baton, you know, in really, whether 400 or 100 um, meters, you, you, the last man oh, yeah. must be the, a the very uncle, like, strong man, oh, yeah. a very strong hand, because most things depend on him. He has to make it to the line. Yeah. And that is what the president is trying to do, that the first tenor, he was pressurized by party, he was pressurized by individuals to bring in people he did not know. Mm. And maybe those people disappointed him, some of them had scandals along the way and had to leave or were asked, were forced to leave. Yeah. So this time he doesn't want to take chances anymore. However, Jones, let me bring in the issue of women. I would like the president to honor his campaign go there, promise. Go, go there, go there. <laughs> I want him to honor his campaign promise to women because he told them he's going to give them 35% representation at his cabinet. Yeah. You know, those were promises. We want to see these promises kept even though there are no structures like in Rwanda where it is in the constitution that 30% of women have to be in public service. In Nigeria, we don't have such structures. But if we can start the promise by appointing the 35% um, confirming Bringing in 35% affirmation, affirmation yeah. affirmative action, Affirmative, that yeah. will be the first step. Yeah. But in doing that, he should not also bring in women because they are women. He should bring in women who are competent, women who can deliver, women who are credible, who, can, who are trustworthy, and 
they have been tested and tried. And when you hear things like women in you know, positions of power tend to overdo it, right? We well, don't overdo it. It's just that okay. we are firm. Okay. We are fair and we are firm. And even the president recognized that when he said that he has confidence that when women are in power or in governance, that they are able to deliver. Do they, when they are firmly fair, we <laughs> want them to be fairly firm. Okay? I, yeah. don't, I don't know how you measure it. But then, uh, seriously now, you expect those pressures to be there on the president from all angles. Uh, first of all, I think I have had knocks for the president. He was elected in February this year. And Bijivaway now has a six to be team. So he has given the well, 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 Mine is until May 29, he had ministers in office. Yes. Well, 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 no, nobody says he couldn't have been tinkering with the idea of yes. who, but he was inaugurated on May 29. Let's start from I, I, there. I, I think uh, he has given Nigeria two things. Number one, he has asked us to be reading his mind. Number two, he has asked us to read his body language. And he has given us a task that we have to be able to know that this time around is likely to take more time for him to appoint people. Because when, the, when, he, when he did the validity service... More, sorry, more time like, than, than, than six months? I, I don't know. Because, uh, like I posted this morning, I think Nigerians should still give the president the next one year. So after his one year, you know, <laughs> they will begin to ask him. You see, I'm, I'm no, not just joking. You see, let, 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 let us... He let met us with fair. the leadership. That's the story. He met with the leadership of the National Assembly yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Take it from there. Mm. Yes, where, where, where yesterday was about probably six weeks after he was sworn in. As yes, the president, it was 42 days. Today is 43. That is six weeks after he was sworn in as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I think, uh, you know, <coughs> let me go back again to when he was doing this financial service. He said all of them have performed well. This thing may also be an inference that probably Nigerians should not expect too much because he said he did not know those people that were sworn in for the first time. But he has had the opportunity of working with them for four years. Probably he has now known them more. So Nigerians should not be surprised that if he retains 80% uh, of them, the because he will uh, have known the them. Line, known them more. The interpretation... Than, than they, before I mean, they were appointed. The interpretation is yours. Well, the interpretation is mine. Mm. Before they were appointed, he didn't know them, like he explained yesterday. But having worked with them for four years, let us assume that he will have sufficiently know those people that were appointed. And that thing is that this time around, the president is on his last lap. He cannot afford to be unable to select probably 42 or 36 or 42 ministers among 198 million people, according to the United Nations yeah, okay. population. We are 198 million, and we, are, we have people that cross across all the devices. We have Nigerians who have said in World Bank, who have said in the United Nations, who have said in the academics, who have said in business. I don't think a bank of Nigerians who have said should not be at the disposal of our president to be able to pick it, about it, 36 or 42 people. You know, people after watching you, tumors. I'm left with no <laughs> choice but to pray you become president one day. Yes. And then you I understand will, what uh, we are talking about. Because Janet about. understands what I'm saying. When yes. You, yes. you see, when you are president, you are alone. You are alone because um, when the chips, are, when the responsibility comes, it's you. When the failure comes, it's you. Everybody is saying the president, the, the press, even when he's not at fault, even when those his food soldiers are at fault. But as the <coughs> head of the, the country, the has to say, at I, that's what I'm saying. But that's why he you takes are alone. responsibility. At the end of the day, he takes responsibility for anything, whether good or bad, yeah. because he is the president, and the pressure is tremendous. You can, when, even at our level, we have pressures, not to talk of at the level but of pressures the... pressures is given for the office like that. Yes, given that's that what we are pressure. saying, yes. that there are pressures, but you manage those pressures, and then you come out of those pressures and take the right decision, because it is your government, it is the government of Bwari Bwari that people will be shouting. Oh, yeah. They will not mention the, the, minister. the ministers, they will not mention that is why he needs good hands this time because he needs to make l his mark let let me tease him a little when your team the national team okay our team our lost team, to yeah. mauritania mauritania okay madagascar, madagascar. okay all now M. <laughs> i'm sorry about that but but you see when we lost to madagascar yeah. you know who then they call buhari and so you are asking what's the link 
Now, take this into the formation of the cabinet. If anything goes wrong, nobody knows the minister, mm -hmm. as she has just said. So it behoves on him to, in your mind's eye, you are looking at a team, and a team is, is, is as good or, or as bad as the, as the president, as exactly. the captain, mm -hmm. and so on. But again, some ministers, if they return, is there anything wrong with that? There's nothing wrong. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong. Because he did said when he was sending them of that, they have all performed well. Yeah. And like I said, the president must have sufficiently known some of them in the last four years that we should also not be surprised that most of them may return. That is just my analysis. Okay. Most of them may return to that particular position. Tunde, but I'm sure, I'm sure you share the sentiments of uh, Janet. Uh, approximate number of women, you know, uh, because I hear women make things happen. Look at the woman at the NPA, Nigerian Ports Authority, which was a, a near dead, dead end, you know. He appointed Hadiza Usman, am I right? Yes, no, that's, and, and she that's her name. So, and she was brave enough to be able to do certain things. Oh, she yeah. moved certain mantis that were in the ports that Nigerians an ordinary Nigerian will not have so been th able to that's do. the kind of thing. That's the kind of thing but we want in the present. Does it take time to get such a person, or you you just you are not talking about magic here? Well, 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 well government government is not a it's not a rocket science. If your mind is tuned to towards getting the best, you are not likely to attract wrong people to you when you are sincere. You are not likely to attract, because those people, evil people, they will run away from you. Look. In, at the federal level, no matter what happens to that lady, uh, former Minister for Finance, Mrs. Ali Oshun, at least as at the time she left, she <coughs> was able to save Nigeria five billion every month due to ghost workers. Some people oh, are yeah, collecting oh, that yeah. money. Oh, yeah. And in my oh, state, yeah. when when uh, Which she is became state? the Ogun State, okay. when she became the uh, Commissioner for Finance in 2011, the IGR was 700 million. It, the IGR was 700 million. Yeah, yes. By the time yeah. she left, the IGR of Ogun State has climbed to probably six billion naira. So you have that's to it. give that lady that credit. No matter what happens, that lady performed creditably well. And we also had somebody who was in the World Bank here, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, what's her name? Okonje Uwala. Whether you like it or not, except for the corruption. No, 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 no. She, she, she performed well. She did she something did well. which I cannot forget. None of us will. She published monthly, on monthly, a monthly the allo allocation. allocations to look at, even down to local, local governments. governments. And I, th I, think, I think that one should be. So at that point, points. it was left to us to, to follow, it kick, follow the ball. The ball has been kicked. Yeah, yes, uh, where, where, where the president has nothing less than to make sure that you get, like I said, Nigeria has a data bank of Nigerians that have said in all spheres of human endeavor. So let the president go and get such people, be the men and women, and put them, put square pegs in square holes not in rant post, so that we can get it right. Because if you don't get it right with President Mohamed Buhari, mm. you may not get it right for a very long time. OK. Uh, Jana, let me tease you again. Mm. Um, I go to the Minister of Defense. You know, the big talk before now had been change service chief. So mm. I expect ministers of defense or a minister of defense, um, must it be a civilian? I don't know. <laughs> That's what, they are key portfolios. Okay. Education, mm. defense, uh, finance, give me more. It's important Helps who fills those positions. Yeah. So what's the question? No, no, defense, the, okay, education, defense, and uh, um, finance. Yeah. Do, must he get gurus? Or get somebody, say, like defense, yeah, must, must he person. have a military man? Yes. For education, must he have a professor? Yes. You see, those are areas that you need expertise. Defense, you need a military man. So that when you're talking about armor tank, when you're talking with maybe people from infantry, those are the fighters, when you're talking with people from, the, um, from armor, Amory. Yeah. Amory. He, mm. There is Amory, there is Amor. Okay. okay. Mm. So they understand what you're talking about. The man understands. For instance, the president is an infantry man. He understands the language of the military. So there is nothing you want to come and tell him about 
Boko Haram, the kind of weapons you need, the kind of um, the tanks, the ammo tanks that you need, that you will not understand. Unlike when we had, I'm not trying to bring down the civilian president that we had, unlike when we had the former president who did not know anything about military and the defense chiefs would just come and tell yeah, him that yeah, oh, God, we, we, we need this cup, we need this glass cup, we need these glasses, we, <laughs> we need this paper. Your, and they are the same. Gra. And we these need. three are just one item. Because he does not know, he will now give so them money. There are still for, those people around. There are still those people around. So you need to put experts in those areas. Education, you bring a professor. Then he understands what you're talking about. In health, you put a medical practitioner so that when you're talking about child um, malnutrition, yeah. which is killing about 2.5 million Nigerian children every year, yeah. according to UNICEF, and you tell him about the need to buy RUTF, which is very urgent to save the lives of these children, he will understand. He will not ask you what is RUTF because he already knows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So those, and finance. And, and in the area of budgeting too. And in the finance too. Like Kemi was good, unfortunately, the youth service or no youth service mad, uh, mad her tenure, which mm. should have ended very well. She may have even made it to this second tenure, but that brought her down. So that's another point that you should look for people. I'm not saying nobody is a saint, oh, yeah. but look for those that would not have that kind With of stain. Foolproof references. Yes, from DSS. Make sure that DSS does not cover up for anybody. Today, quickly, we can talk about this. Sports, in sports, which appears to be one vehicle we can use to galvanize the Nigerian uh, populace. You need an, ex uh, an expert. Well, especially those people, uh, most of the experts we hire in Nigeria are people who just don't do books, not the soccer. Mm. You need the experts there, yeah. Those who have to walk up, have to call, and just have to all the settlement. These are people you know, you know, don't know, just don't know somebody who's by the books. You need people who have played Prat football, Prat yeah, practical yeah, yeah. footballers before. Yeah. It's different from academics or people who are just uh, analysts on football. But you need footballers, seasoned footballers who knows about the game. Uh, uh, we we oh, need a situation oh, oh, whereby... Use, use a broad term, a, a seasoned sport... Sports administrator, administrator, you know. administrator. Yeah. because yeah, you may not, you may be an administrator and not necessarily be a footballer. Yeah. But okay. It, for you to be an administrator, you must have known something about football. You, you, or we many we had about an football. Isaac Akioye, bless his soul. Of, you know. of the same yeah. memory. You yeah. know, he led Nigeria to Moscow in 1980 or so, yeah. and he yeah. came back with a scandal. Unfortunately, he could not go forward. So we need seasoned people all over the place. Uh, until probably 10 or 12 years ago, when we are forming national team, you will see 11 players. Now, what I always tell people is that to those people who are telling our coaches that you must reflect federal character. Those sorry, people are, are they not Nigerians? So, sorry, we have company here. Odunuga is reaching us from Shomolu, Lagos, Nigeria. Odunuga, I greet you. Welcome. You did one? Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. <coughs> the question being raised by the, the guests that are on the TV now, that I would like to share my own opinion from him. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Yeah, are you talking about yeah. Janet? Now, we, the, I would like to talk to that gentleman on red. Okay. Gentleman, you are. Yep. Yeah. Fire him. Yeah. yeah Let's yeah. go. Now, yeah, yeah, in the first, in the first four years of the president, Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Back, listen to you. First four years of the president. Yes. That he that he is saying that uh, the president is too slow to appoint ministers. We should know that the first four years. We should know that the first four years, all the ministers being appointed are, are two parties. Now, they should allow the president to go at its own slow place so that we give us the best, <laughs> the best minister this time I come. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you. Yeah, Tunde, but, but you picked one or two things from what he yeah, said. He was First that time, uh, we say he was too slow. He's because saying... All the mini most of the ministers were picked by the party. That's it. Now, he's saying he must take his time. Did he use the word slow? No, I didn't. Is he suggesting that too? 
It's a, it's a reason. No, it's just suggest that. No, no, but uh, Janet, but my, mine, that. Yeah, but mine is, if you say, allow the president to take his time, we, you just told me about two days, 43? Uh, no, for, today's 43. 43. Today's so, 43 days. Yeah, okay, so. Well, the president does not have all, all the, the time. time to pick ministers. The clock of the second term is already ticking. Oh, yeah. And nothing is going to stop it. As we are speaking now, it's already 43 days and a lot of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of minutes. Yeah. So by the end of today, we, have, we are entering another. Every day and night, the time is going. So it doesn't have and, all the time. Nigerians are, are waiting. Nigerians are waiting and Nigerians are watching. But I believe that it will not take as long as six months. Yeah. Like the first mm. tenor. Because he too has said that he won't, that Nigerians are going to be shocked by the agility, by the speed of light that he's going to tackle national issues yeah. once these ministers are, have been appointed. And Lawan has also assured us that they want to look at this before they go on recess. Okay. So we okay. hope that we, they look at it before they. It, to, to, quickly, cynics will always tell you when you appoint. Technocrats into it's okay. Politics. Giwa is reaching us from Germany. Giwa, good evening to you. Yeah, good evening. All right, let's go, sir. Um, go on. Um, I don't uh, agree with. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Bafladi, because uh, here in Germany, you don't have to have the qualification before you are put to that position. You know, there's a Ministry of Defense, there's a woman who holds that position. They always uh, um, employ is permanent secretary who are really qualified. Okay. Not, not really somebody must be in that position before uh, Essentially, elected. The, a minister, a minister. Of, a, a, sorry, a, essentially, if I get you, a minister, a minister of defense must not be a retired general or somebody like that. Right? Yeah. Wrong? Okay, we got you first time. Well, it's only, it's a reaction. It's a reaction. He's <laughs> entitled to his opinion. But I like our man, Giwa, to understand the German environment is different from ours. <laughs> when you, you are you a novice, total novice, let's even take our profession, for instance. You are a publisher, print, like in the print where I've been all my life. And then you don't even know how to write caption. You don't know anything about story writing. You employ an editor. That editor can write rubbish and you will not know because you don't understand, because you have no idea about the, how to write news, the techniques of news but writing. But you know where the problem is coming from? Where? Tunde, coming from a society that has become heavily certificated. Without with emphasis with on certificates. Certificate. So, so know-how does not come in. But it's necessary for this second tenor. It's yeah. very key for this second tenor, for the president to be able to achieve his aims and objectives. Which provokes what I was going to ask Tunde now. It, it, cynics will tell you, if you make technocrats ministers, yeah. it's like putting a fox in a hen house. The minister of finance is an economist. You bring, bring him or her there. Um, nobody says it's... A 99% uh, chance of... Uh... Well, I think what is important is that, whether we like it or not, the term tech caucus, the one with this term, must follow the establishment of the party. Yeah, okay. Which is the program of the minister. So the minister is expected to know the programs of the president and that of his party. The function of the uh, civil service is to follow in line the programs of the minister. The civil service must be ready to follow anybody. And they are trained and they are supposed to follow the program and policies of the uh, incumbent uh, after, government. At the ministry, you have eggheads, you, you have know, experts. Yeah. So they are supposed to follow the policy. And that's why, in most cases, 
people who are appointed permanent secretaries or directors, in quote, people say they are political appointees. Yeah. That is, you have to agree with I, the I, program though, and policies I, of the person even though, who has accepted. If, even though they are not permanent. The, if they, they, are, they are permanent. <laughs> yes. So it, uh, it goes to show that experts that are brought in from outside have a blueprint. Okay. And the civil service, yeah. they are always serve all the politicians have to kill in ja to his blueprint. Janet, but you must be put on notice if I was going to appoint you minister. Yes. I'll go at least hint you. Exactly. So I'll know whether I'm capable for that position or, or not. Because when any appointment given to you or any assignment is an opportunity for you to fail or to succeed. So right. if you know you don't want to fail, don't accept a portfolio that you know you know nothing about. All right, Mr. President, wish you Godspeed. Uh, the ball is in your court. Wish you well. well. Still to come, former President Goodluck Jonathan urges the federal government to implement the 2014 National Conference Report. You want to say with us? Okay, welcome back. Uh, just to quickly tell you, Bola, our colleague Bola Olajuwon came a little late, uh, but he's watching us from the sidelines. Bola, welcome. Okay then, you know, former President Jonathan is relishing his retirement from partisan politics, but not to the exclusion of indulging in political discourse or the language of it. The Bayasa born politician came to town a few days ago and graced a book presentation by Senator Femi Okurumu, who turned 80 on the day. At the event, former President Jonathan romanticized the 2014 National Conference, whose report he has urged the federal government to adopt. Now, the challenges bedeviling the country which gave rise to the Pali, according to him, were still with us today. The, Janet, the report, 2014 National Conference report, will always steal the headlines, for good or for evil. Yeah. So we are here there. We are back there. We are back there. That's what the former president is saying. And that report raised a lot of issues. 492 Nigerians from all spheres of life gathered at, in Abuja to, for four months to deliberate on how to take this country forward and how to resolve. And they came up with the ones I can remember. I remember like 10. Mm -hmm. I hope I'll be able to read or uh, go through all the 10. But firstly, they talked about creating 18 states from three from each of the geopolitical zones. 36. Between yes, 18 four. plus <laughs> 36, yeah. Three from each political, uh, geopolitical zone. Second, they said that the resource, resource control, that the money should be moved, the percentage should be moved from 13% to 17%. Again, they talked- For oil producing areas. For, for oil producing areas. Again, they, they talked about churches, that government has no business sponsoring pilgrims to either the, to any of the holy lands, it does not matter which, yeah, yeah. and that government should stop that, and also churches now, now, should be these, made. These are the things you condensed. These are the from, things I condensed. Condensed from the report. From the report. You know, I'm just yeah. picking no, the no, points yeah, that's what I mean, uh, yeah. one after the other that churches should be made to pay tax to government. And that local government- And, um, and maybe mosques. Uh, and, and mosques. Religious Mos organizations. Dance, churches, mosques, everyone Religious should organizations. be made to pay, pay to pay tax. And all the elective- Be Because offices, they earn tax-free money. Yes. And all the elective offices, all the elective offices should be part-time at the state, and at the federal. So senators and House of Rep should be part-time to cut the cost of governance. Janet, because in the Second Republic, that's what happened. Go on. Yes, they also said that. And local government should be removed completely. That's a, as a third tier of governance, that local government should be taken off. But states can create as many local governments as you want, we like create Hundred, oh, yeah. because the, there will be no more joint accounts, joint uh, account with state and uh, the local government. So, okay, Tunde, um, what can you? Well, I think uh, it took the former president 
12 months in office. I don't know. It, was... it took him 12 months um, to bring the report. No, no, no. The, re the report came, came 12, 12 months. months to the end of his tenure. Uh -huh. And throughout so, that, so he had 12 that months, room. he had an opportunity to governance or to sensitize or encourage Nigerians to, deba to debate about that particular report. I could remember that in 1978, when the constitutional uh, uh, drafting committee, the 49 West men, finished their work and the constituent assembly was put in place. The job of the constituent assembly was to discuss and to agree or disagree to reach a compromise about that particular constitution. You will know that, yes, the 1999 2011, 10, 10, 11 confab, 2010 confab, okay. brought a lot okay. of, uh, okay. a lot uh, of discordant acrimony. tunes yeah. Yeah. because of that acrimony. And Nigerians should have been given the opportunity within that 12 months to discuss that particular thing and iron it out. And it should have formed the peg of that 2011 national, uh, election. But unfortunately now, it is unfortunate that the incumbent president did mention that he will not touch it. It is mm. bad enough because the, the, the conference was represented by all shades of opinion yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. But now that uh, President Jonathan is saying that we should go back to it. It's only advocating. I think those who are saying we should go back to it, we should advocate more. Because like we said the other time, Nigeria has had about 10 conferences. Between it's between the records are there. Between and, 60, 60 and 2014. Uh, 20, we have had 10 And Tunde, in addition, you have had 10 reports. Reports, mm. which are, are always ended in the dustbin or in the shelf of the president. I think anybody that must rule Nigeria well, before you set up a committee or a conference or anything, you must have the boldness and the courage to implement that community. It's not a question, because to me, the impression I had that was that the conference was slapped on Nigeria, both by President Obasanjo and former President Jonathan to keep Nigerians busy. Because they never touched the report of that conference. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria spent billions and billions of well, naira yeah, to yeah. see the conference through. So what four, is the four, essence four, of- four, four million times uh, 492. 492 times how many months? Five? Times four months. Four, four months. months. So four you can months. imagine how much Nigerians spend. So we have, our leaders have the habit of uh, organizing conference that at the end of the day, you will not touch it. Uh, late General Basha II did its own 1994 Five. to 1995. Yeah. At the end of the day, nobody touched it. I said count them, not 10. 10. Ten. Between the only, the only man we not do conference was Absalom. It was too short for well, you. Because to it was 11 months. He spent 11 months and he was in a hurry to, to go. hand over. So, to hand over. So, so the thing is that. He said for Duam. He said for Duam now. Oh, and so that continued not to. He spent 81 days in office. So, he had no opportunity of doing I, I, conference. I don't think Shagari had a conference. He didn't have a conference. No, he didn't have one. Except those ones. Uh, we have had, had, had 10. Obas on your hand. So, I, th yeah. I think yeah. enough of wasting taxpayers' money. Enough of wasting money. Any leader that is, has not made up his mind to effect any significant change in Nigeria should not ask Nigerians to go and start talking at the detriment of our economy. Look yeah, at yeah. more of those things. Yeah, Janet, a, mm. a former president said he didn't want to be seen as employing the conference report as a <laughs> political tool. Mm. He didn't want to be seen, but let's also look at some of, I know I told you I remember them, but I mm. gave like three or four. Yeah. So let's look at other ones that people have been talking about, but we didn't know that they are taking it from that confab, from that 2014 confab. For instance, the immunity, the immunity, the conference recommended that they should, they should remove immunity. The clause. Especially, yes, especially when the person involved is facing a criminal uh, charge. charge or charges. Yeah. And that there should be special courts. You know, people, Nigerians have been clamoring for special courts. Yeah. It's from that confab that there should be special courts to try corruption cases because of the undue prolongation of corruption cases. And yeah. they also talked about independent candidates. That oh, if yeah. if oh, you, yeah. that oh, yeah. if you are able to meet the the requirement of the electoral That's act, it. that an independent candidate can are come you sure out. Of your yeah. image. You can, you, I, of course, you, wanna, yes. <laughs> you meet the be, electoral act. You must, act. Be, you must yes. be sure. Yeah. So these are some of the 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 highlights, the highlights of that confab. And if it's followed, perhaps especially the part time for the senators, but, because the, so but much. I, I'm, I'm surprised that the issue about government shunning the idea of sending people on pilgrimages came up because the constitution 1999 as amended mm. says in the opening chapters there shall be no state religion sure. 
And I know some states are preparing pilgrims. Lagos you know? uh, delegates have gone already. Yeah. They landed yeah. In the, yesterday or two days ago. So I imagine who, much who, of them spent. Who spent the money? I don't know. You see, when I say Lagos State, you know. Lagos State delegates, it means part of those people who made that trip were people that were sponsored by the Lagos State government. You see, it's unfortunate that in this country we don't respect our laws and we don't stand by what people are saying. If that is true, it means that Lagos State or any other state in Nigeria that has sent people to either to Mecca or to Jerusalem, they have violated the provision of the Nigerian Constitution that says that religion is not a state affair. Yeah, and it couldn't be. And a lot of money. No, 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 for those people going to Mecca or those going to Jerusalem, go and take the rock that is there and put it somewhere in Abuja, let people go and be worshipping it. <laughs> because, you know, it, whether you like it or not, it is uh, to the advantage of those countries you are visiting. We are oh, spending yeah. money on tourism. Oh, oh you are spending foreign exchange? We are spending hard foreign money on tourism. Yeah, and some yeah. governments will go out of their way to give their delegate other $500 or $700. And, and that's a lot one of one money. One of the things you drew, which caught my fancy, is this bit about taxing religious organizations because they make their monies tax free yes they make the, i think they should pay tax they, they should. in africa i know that rwanda <laughs> is taxing churches and the yes. president there says unless you have a degree in theology you can't not be in quotes be called you know here they, they call them so, uh, god there's those that are called and there are those that call themselves Oh, they yes. Be, okay. People yes. study oh, their own churches. God, God really calls some, some people. There are some people that are called. They have the calling. Uh, you and know, you know, just you like know this them. our job. You know them. And you're not a journalist. That's your calling. My calling is to be a journalist. Yes. There's those that are called on the religious side. So, Genuinely. and they are called by God they not, are called to, by not God. to pay tax? No, no, no. I'm not saying that they are called by God not to pay tax. I'm saying that there are those that are called I, to do that I job. I ask on uh, innocent questions. Even I'm you. answering you innocently with <laughs> an open mind. <laughs> so um, th there's an interesting recommendation I that I want to also bring up from okay. that conference. They said we should go back to the old national anthem. You remember? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear the uh, old their native <laughs> land. That's because the current anthem begins with the second stanza of the old one. <laughs> da, 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 and so on. But, but this is not to carpet the 2014 Constitution, yes. National Conference. 2010. No, 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 2014. 2014. That's uh, about 2014 Jonathan's own. Uh, was it 2014? 2014. 2014. So there are some... Frank is here in Lagos. I hope Frank will be frank about his comments. Frank, welcome. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Hello? You are on, sir. I want to... Yeah, go go on. Forget the hold back. Just go on. This is, this is Frank from Oshogi. Yeah. I want to start from... I want to start from the president. The... Frank, okay. Frank, the subject matter now is the 2014 con Constitution, uh, whose report the former president is asking us to ad adopt. Okay, then. Yeah, we, we were going to say there are salient points from the conference yes. which we must seek to uh, adopt. One, the one you mentioned, we don't need local governments. Let states create, like, E.G. Lagos State has um, local council development areas, mm. and whatever nomenclature you want to give them. Yes. But it shouldn't be the business of the federal, the, the, the Nigerian state. Yes. Your state should deter determine what we want. And did somebody not talk about the six geopolitical zones to be highlighted? Yes, sir, that they should be regarded as centers of governance. Okay, that brings me to what the CONFAB also said about... Um, Federation accounts yeah. that 42 points, I think 42.5 should go to federal. 35, yeah. 35, uh, 42.5% should go to federal. Instead 30, of 52 that yes, we have now. Instead of 73, so. <laughs> 52, um, 52. Yeah, the states should have 35% and then local government 22.5%. That was what the 
also recommended. But, but, but in the same document, they are asking the same, for yes, it, local governments to be... Okay, it's well. contra Maybe they felt that, okay, if you don't want to scrap local government and you want to do federation accounts, do it in this ratio. 42.5 for federal, 35% for state, and then 22.5 for local government. And the issue of presidency should be rotated between north and south. Okay. Yes, when yeah. it's the yeah. turn of the north, it comes to the south among the six geopolitical zones. zones. And then governorship should also rotate among the three senatorial zones. zones. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, they say man was not, no, no, book was made for man. Man was not made, made for, for book. book. In other words, national conferences have been here. Do we need a national conference to behave in this country? But it's, um, uh, Janet and uh, Tunde, in a country of 198 million people who rank among the ESTs, the best on the planet, we should, be, we should not be going round in circles. I said 10 national conferences, 10 reports. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, all right, we must uh, go to our next subject matter, but let the debate continue. You know, the Global Anti-Corruption Monitor Transparency International has stung our country again like a honeybee. The body has released damning survey showing that the Nigeria police, the legislature, and the judiciary were amongst the most corrupt institutions in our jurisdiction. In its 10th edition of the Global Corruption Barometer, Transparency International said corruption on the continent was the major impediment to political and social development. And of course, the National Assembly would not take this reflection lying low. It's scientific, it is not scientific, the lawmakers contended. <laughs> it's no laughing matter now. It's laughing matter because this is what fella say, you be tiff, I know be tiff. You be rogue, you be rogue, I know be rogue. So the thing is good. You be am rubber, I know be am uh. rubber. So that's it. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing. Well, so where do we start from? The police. The police. Mm. You know, the police because... Nigeria police. Nigeria police. Because there is hardly any Nigerian that has never encountered the police, either in a bus traveling in or out or within the city. Whether you are the one asking the driver to please give him the bribe and so that you can meet up your appointment or something. But custom, you may, some people may not encounter custom for the rest of their lives. Mm. If they don't have any car to import, any rights to smuggle, or any goods to bring from mm. Tinkan, you may not have any dealing with custom. The police is like the, a ghost. The, poli <laughs> <laughs> the police is like tortoises. <laughs> tortoise that will never finish in a story. <laughs> but but this, this is not without prejudice to a few fine officers of and course, men. Of course. Except that we want uh, a motley crowd mm. of fine officers and men. Well, I think when you are talking about the police... To know, to... By the way, can you afford to enlist into the police force? Uh, well, too, I, too I, 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 don't, I don't like to tr take you back to 40 years ago, okay. when I was in uh, Form 5. Then one police officer was asked to come and talk to us. Do you know one of my classmates just stood up and said, and look at the man in the face. One of my classmates, very young, probably 18 years old, and said, can you allow your... Son, son to join. Or any of your children to join the police force. The man paused for 10 minutes before he answered. A lot of us were looking at that guy because he had that boldness. Mm. It means it shows that the, the, the perception of the Nigerian, African Nigerian to the police is not the best in terms of what we are seeing. But what my own attitude is that all of us in Nigeria, we are guilty of whatever attitude or behavior any of our institution is doing. Because we, we are all guilty. Them. We produce them. They are a function of the particular system. Look, like I was telling somebody this morning that what, two things I hate to do is that I don't beg police and I don't give bribe. Why? If it is because of my vehicle papers, I prefer to keep the vehicle at home if I cannot update it. Because the thing, that, or like NEPA official, oh, why yeah. you give them 1,000 or 2,000 why not save that money and go and use it to update My wife say, I hope, document. She, I hope she won't be upset with this. She <laughs> said, Three classes of people, I, 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 of course, say I don't pass them. God don't pass them. He <laughs> said, say number one, conductor. Yes. Two, Nepal man. Mm. Three, policeman. policeman. 
Because I beg, they know degree. They know they know degree. The conductor will marry you. Say I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll do marriage <laughs> for you people. <laughs> and when you get to the bus stop, you sort yourself. Oh yeah. So I think mm -hmm. uh, our institutions, all Nigerians, we need something to do. If people refuse to give police bribe, yeah, they should also perfect their papers. And That's the Belku people it. should also perfect their papers. Uh, as for customs, people should stop smuggling. And uh, the law there is that don't be caught. You make sure you that you are not stop caught. eating you stop imported, imported rice. rice. Uh, yes. You, I mean you. Yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, Everybody, every, all Jan of us. Janet does not do that. I don't eat okay. yeah, imported rice. Yeah, but but I'm saying, after. But don't you think we scapegoat the police a lot? We One, do. the police is not is underfunded. It is uh, not taken care of. We scapegoat the police a lot because we encounter them a lot. You see, it's unfortunate that apart from the commissioner. The area commander does not have a budget. The DPU, yes, the DPU does not have a budget. So these people are sent on the, on the field to... Uh, are you saying practically or statutorily? Statutorily. Wait, wait, There's wait. no money that is given to them that this is the money from state's command. I, I want I them think, to I call don't, in. I don't know the they last time you were at the police station. They, they will, they will ask you or correct to bring wait, money to, to buy with, paper. No, excuse me. To write a statement. What I'm saying is that... The area commander, for instance, the state commissioner does not give him money and say, this 100,000 is for is for your budget. Cost. There's nothing like that. The DPO does not also have it. So in an environment of crime, the criminals would buy generator for an area commander. And then when he now goes to rob, it's the moral burden so on the area commander to go arrest him is always a problem. The same thing with the DPO. He does not have any budget. He survives on charity, in quotes. And that's why PCRC is doing a lot for them. And yeah. PCRC is also corrupt. Sometimes they go about collecting money on behalf of police and they will embezzle that money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? So that is and the, the problem. And the police that's supposed to go into that matter will Cannot, turn the, because the other. They all, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then a policeman is transferred from Sokoto to Lagos without, without an accommodation, accommodation without, without allowance. There was a time I went to Abuja when Tafa Balogun was the IG, and police were sleeping on the field at four headquarters in the night to see them with bucket like prisoners. They wear white singlet and nika and sleep on the field at that we headed uh, uh, four headquarters. So when Tafa came, Tafa said, This is embarrassing. They were even sleeping inside the offices. Those that couldn't get office to sleep slept on the field in the open. So he tried to do a lot on welfare to remove those people in order not to embarrass the police. That is the situation. Tunde National Assembly says the Transparency International report is false, is warped. Uh, let's hear quickly, Dauda is reaching us from Abuja. Dauda, welcome. How do you do? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Good evening. Yes, sir. Evening. Yeah, please, uh, I would like to uh, contribute to what you are discussing. Go about on, me. go on, time, go on. Okay, yeah, the, we are saying police are corrupt, but the issue now is that, though we all agree that they are underfunded, but the issue is that some of these police officers, the subject they work with, they contribute to their attitude towards whether corrupt or whatever they do on the road. Personally, I have an encounter, I'm sorry to say this, I have an encounter with a group of police while I was traveling from Ibadan to Abuja just this last Sunday. And this group of police, I think they were piloting uh, uh, one of the uh, pa pa uh, important personnel in the, in the country, uh, which is Afe Babalola, around that route. These people stopped us and they said we wanted to overtake a, a, a convoy of which we didn't even know it was a convoy. <laughs> Then they stopped the vehicle, the driver stopped, all of them just came down and started shooting. With all this kind of encounter, we cannot have trust in the police that are supposed to be guiding us and be behaving like, uh, like this to us. Hmm. So it was so pathetic. And the, the, the subject they were guarding, that's after Babalo himself, was in the car looking at them. And okay. as a matter of fact, they shot the tire of the vehicle while we were inside the vehicle. So, oh, dear. Well. Uh, what more can I say? Um, we produce the police that's policing us. 
So it's like looking at ourselves in the mirror. It's the fortune of the society. Quickly, the National Assembly has been thumped by the Transparency International. Well, they are also corrupt. That's why TI, what TI yes, is saying. Yes, uh, according to, of course, I read that report and they cited, they did the data to show that the National Assembly is corrupt. Yeah. So let them send any comfort and tell them that they're not corrupt. But the Saturday and by the Monday and every month, yeah. by the amount of people they do, when they collect money for constituency allowance, are they using it for the constituency? Mm. You see, the data, because it is wrong for the, for the uh, Senator Day and, and the other person to say that uh, it was not scientific, because they came out with the data showing what and what those people, they, they are responded, what they have said. Uh, and so these it are is wrong to say details. Uh, graphic details. So it is wrong to say that it is not scientific, except, of course, I, I, if I don't know what is the research and mm. what is the scientific is all about. I think the onus is on the National Assembly to leave, to lead by example. Let them share, they, they, about two weeks ago, there was a, 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 a discussion or a disagreement between the now president of the Senate, the Senate president, and uh, uh, one, one of the, the I, advisors. I, I know the where, president. You, where you're going. He uh -huh. said where he was his saying monthly that he was, salary, salary was, seven, was but do you know he's right? Salary. He is right. Because you didn't ask him, Janet, what the, other things, all those other, other perks made, of office, they, uh, other like perks the of allowances. Office. By the time you add the allowances, about 70 or 80, 90, 95 percent of the total sum. Yeah, so yeah. if you are talking on salary of 750,000, I think it is wrong. Let us talk about the allowances you are going to earn. So I think the onus there is that the national, in Senegal, they made a decision about two years ago. They had two chambers of the National Assembly. Oh, yeah. And they said, because of the economy of the country, we are going to drop one. So. That takes us back to the issue of the, the, the conference 2014 reports. conference report yeah. and the first republic. That's Let that's all our legislators accept to be part-time. By the time they will make it part-time, I am telling you 99% of those people are there now. They will not be interested. Uh, quickly, but just but, uh, judiciary, one line. Judiciary is also involved in the report. It's also involved because of the series of um, events that have taken place to show that some of them are actually corrupt and they are on that track. And when the judiciary is accused of being corrupt, mm -hmm. there is no hope for the common man. All right, that is what it means. Okay, as always, the debate must continue about whether the Nigeria police, the National Assembly members, and of course the judiciary in our country are all corrupt. Forget about the scientists and the scientific <laughs> angle to it. Um, they are saying to us, do something about it. I know we can. But this is, this is where we want to, to end it for today. Janet Mba Afalabi, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Always. This is, this, this is like a Friday. This is a Friday, 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 Friday attire. Yeah. yeah. We are hanging out. Go, 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 you know, bring the bills to us. It's okay, it's okay. Tunde Abaton, yeah. wish you well. Thank you. Wish, wish you well. And of course, Bola Olajuwon, thank you for understanding. Okay then, that will just about do it for the program today and the week. You may also watch the program on other platforms. We'll show you on the screen now and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. And our feedback channel remains the same. I am Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye for now and take care.